Okay, let's try again. The first time I did this, when I went in the house to uh, look at the picture, it was upside down. It would have drove me crazy. But anyhow, to show you how these pops top, pop top struts work, try saying that a couple times. You pull down easily like this, and it comes down. Now I have the boom on the traveling position, so when I ease them up and I just barely push, let it go the rest of the way by itself. It goes up against the bottom of the boom, and it stays there, so I can walk around inside the inside the boat. I'm 5'10", and I have plenty of room to move around as I hump over a little bit. And when I'm ready to travel or whatever, I just give a nice little tug, and it comes down nice and easy. Not a problem. So there you have it. That's the uh, the way these signature 230P-100 struts work and I got them from my local camper shell distributor in town you know where they where you can buy a camper shell for the back of your pickup truck he has a ton of these things all different sizes and shapes and these happen to be 23 inch long hence the 230 and 100 pounds the dash 100 and here you have it nice and easy goes right up. Now the first time I had to pull these down from a full up position they were brand new and really really strong so I had to go up and I had to grab the struts and put my foot on the Daggerbird housing like up here and just pull like crazy. I thought for sure that I was going to break off the the uh, mounts but they held up nicely. It was just extremely difficult the first time. After that they came down real easy. I figure if you had a way to compress these struts before you put them on, work them through their uh, motions one or two times without breaking them, that would probably be a good thing. I didn't have that, so I had to just put them on the boat and go for it. There you are. Hope this helps a little bit. I hope this is right side up.